filming, we learn the importance of standing still when we are filming unless using the camera, as otherwise the sound, even if it wasn't intentional, becomes clear when we try to edit it. We learned of ways to try and cut certain sounds out and also editing the order of sound. We experimented with different wind chills and effects when filming and try to try and achieve the voice we wanted. However, in the end we decided that just a plain microphone was more effective for the effects we wanted to achieve. When editing, we learned how to use YouTube as a viable soundtrack source, which we couldn't have our own, and also how to use sound equipment properly. We discovered new ways to create voice when we were editing our sequence, as we wanted to create the robotic sound of a computer voice. We found out how to do this by playing around with certain effects that could cut up all the separate parts and put them together. We also experimented with lighting and the use of lamps to try and create the mood we wanted to portray, such as unease. However, we found this very difficult, so we also learned of ways to set brightness and change lighting with Adobe Premiere Pro to try and change the mood of our scenes since we hadn't managed to achieve the correct kind of lighting when we were filming it. The main target audience for our film was 16 to 35 year old males. However, with the increase of cinema popularity in the sci-fi genre, we have also included a smaller proportion of females into our target audience. These people would be interested in technology and, to some extent, Japanese culture, as current in the most advanced way that was created by Japanese men. Our audience would also be interested in other films such as Inception, Alien, Star Trek, and The Chemist Series, all these include heavy elements of sci-fi influence. Our film doesn't really represent any social group. Instead, however, it looks at the development of technology and how it affects one life. My group tried to put this into the future, portraying a world where people rely on technology so much that they no longer feel the need to interact with other humans. It represents the continuing reliance on technology that people have, with our character actually being asked by the computer how he's feeling since he won't show it to anyone else. For our costumes, we decided to make our character appear in a homely situation, wearing a white t-shirt and grey tracksuit trousers. This also fits in with our sci-fi conventions, as white colours and simplicity stand out against the complexity of the world that they lived in, filled with technology. Since our character doesn't interact with other humans, it was difficult to represent a particular social group, so it's really up to the audience to decide whether or not he's their ideal type. He lives in a middle-class house, so it could be a representation of ordinary people, and that sometime in the future, technologists will smash you with the way everyone is rather than anyone else.